All right, let's talk about RIC representatives. So you probably heard about the opportunity to run to be an RIC representative. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more about what that means, what is the commitment like, and what does it look like to run? So Residence Hall Interhall Congress is a group of student leaders that is there to advocate for the needs of the on-campus student. A part of that is there is a legislative body of representatives um, at 1% of every hall um, comes together on Monday nights at 7.30 and discusses the needs that students have brought to them. Um, sometimes that means a funding request that they talk about whether or not they wanna approve or deny. Sometimes that means that there's a issue that they want to bring up and discuss. Um, it just depends on what that body wants to discuss. A lot of times it looks like bills and legislation though. So they'll come together on 7.30 at 7.30 every Monday night and um, it's really their job to come with the student voice from their hall. So if um, let's say Yoakum presented a bill saying hey we want to put on this event we need x amount of dollars and we think it's going to meet our students needs in this way. Um, the hot hall representative would then gather the student voice from their hall about that bill to make sure that their students, you know, students across campus really want money to be spent in this way. So a lot of times they talk to their lead hogs about this, they gather input there, sometimes they'll put an Instagram poll out there, um, and it's their job to get the voice. So becoming one of these representatives, um, it happens pretty early in the year and it's a great opportunity to get plugged into the university and to get experience as a leader. You will um, apply or you will fill out a form that is your intent to run and or it's an interest form. And this will just tell us what's your platform, why do you wanna apply? And that will then allow us to give you a timeline and give you more instructions. That form will be on Honksync. And then after that, you will prepare a speech. It will be two minutes long and it will be um, recorded on Instagram Live um, through your hall's Instagram page. You'll, um, your hall RA advisors will let you know when and um, when and where to meet for that and how to record that. The next thing is um, your, your campaigning also happens during this time. So a little bit before your campaign speech, you can hang posters, you can start posting on Instagram to um, share about your campaign and what you, what, why you should be a representative. And then you have um, voting. So as soon as you campaign and then you give your speech, the voting will begin. Um, your hall can vote, anybody in your hall can vote. It doesn't have to be um, people just from lead hogs. And then that will conclude the next day and then the reps will be announced at your in-hall meeting and you'll be able to celebrate the fact that you have four awesome representatives and then they will then start representing you in RIC meetings. The first official RIC meeting is going to be on September 14th and that's when bills and legislation is going to start being read. So you can submit ideas and proposals for money before that. Um, you can talk about that more with your RA advisors and your CRE advisors when you get um, to campus and start your lead hogs meetings. So that is a overview of RIC, RIC elections, rep elections. If you have any additional questions, make sure you talk to your RA advisors. And um, for all those of you thinking about running, best of luck.